right? We're here at Aquacut in Warrington, and this was an installation that was a, a few months ago by this gentleman standing behind me. Hello. And, and the team, it wasn't just him, it was a whole team. It, it, had a, it was done for a particular reason. One is they've got a peak power demand, so they need to do load shaving, and they've got an array, a solar array on the roof, quite a large solar array, and so we want to charge the batteries up both from the solar array and the AC at night when they're on a lower tariff. And when the peak demand comes higher, the unit comes in. So just come and have a look at the settings here. There's three units that are in parallel and we obviously can see the front screen. So the three units are in parallel. So a couple of things we become aware of. Um, I'll go on to the battery settings. So here, we've got lots and lots of batteries. We actually got, so you can see there's 900 amp hour batteries here. They're all in amazingly looking good cabinets. <laughs> The most important thing that I always say is people make sure you've got your comms. The batteries are a C rating 0 0.5, so you see a maximum of um, 450 amps discharge. Okay, so we go back onto the grid setting here. Uh, we set the peak power shaving at 7.5 kilowatts, 750 watts. Um, we set it on here and it will actually mirror all three inverters. So once we do one, three, three were the same. These are actually set up in a three phase um, system so let me just show you one thing here and we go advanced and we go multi-inverter and you see this one is master parallel one phase a this is the true master and then we can look at the here we go to this one we go advanced settings multi-inverter and in fact this is um c in fact the phase rotation means this one is the last one in the rotation and here we obviously we're going to here and we'll go into advanced settings multi-inverter and it's B. So what you can actually see is the phase rotation goes from this one to this one to this one. So it's the re rotation. It's quite important. I always talk about making sure your phase rotation, use phase rotation meters. So you can see on these three inverters. The second part of the thing is they want to discharge the batteries at a certain time at night. So to discharge the batteries, we use the system mode controller. So the system mode here, and what we've done here, we set, we clicked grid charge, and from one o'clock till five o'clock, when it gets slightly cheaper electricity, they can charge the batteries. During the daytime, we've allowed the batteries to discharge to um, you can see seventy percent, seventy percent until after five o'clock, and then it can discharge to thirty-five percent. So that's additional power. We don't want to discharge the batteries too much. Um, but what we've also done with the solar, and these things are producing an amazing amount of solar, and we're in England, and I, let me show you this. This is, this is fantastic. Let me show you this. We go back onto here, and we look at the solar production. Look at this. For the UK, for one array, this is one, one inverter, 26.5 kilowatt hour. And um, we look at this other one. Um, we go back onto the main navigation screen. Uh, and then here, you can see, we've got another 26.7 kilowatt hour. And look at this one. We, this, is, this is a, this is, Look at that. You can see there, 26, was it 75, 76 kilowatt hour in England? Um, Terry, what size of array are we using? Uh, we're on um, 25 kilowatts on the roof. 25, and we're getting that much power. This is England. I've never seen that. You know, according to all the calculations figures, this is impossible, but it's happening and we're generating a lot of power. So this is really working well. So here i have demonstrating how about using the controller. A couple of other things you need to consider here. If we go back onto the system mode controller, go onto the work mode, I'm actually not exporting the power. So zero export, export a solar export, which is a zero export, and here priority to load. That means the solar, what it's generating during the day, will provide the load for the building. It's a very large building. So the solar generated in the day will provide the load. Any surplus from that will go into the batteries and then the batteries will use as a buffer. So if they've got peak power demand, the batteries can cut in and supply the peak power demand. And then uh, at night time, after five o'clock, it will slowly discharge the batteries. And of course, the next day is a new day. Um, so this system is it's working a dream. We've got three data loggers, three data loggers. It's got all the reporting, everything is working. I've tried to sort of explain some of the settings on here and I think we'll put a little bit of sort of a bit more editorial later on to explain it. But in this application, it's three-phase system, beautiful system. Thanks for watching.